I am thrilled to be here today on behalf of the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation to announce the 2009 Knight International Journalism Award winners. Each year, the Knight International Program honors individuals who raise the standards of media excellence in their countries, despite overwhelming odds. These recipients exemplify the best in our profession. This award has a very important meaning for me as well. In 2002, Thugs attacked my father, the publisher of El Periódico in Guatemala, in our home. They were trying to intimidate us into stopping the paper's investigative reporting. In 2003, ICFJ gave him the Knight International Journalism Award to recognize the paper's outstanding journalism and his courage in bringing, in, in bringing independent news to the people of Guatemala. Despite threats to the lives of him and our family, this award has meant so much to him because he has validated all the sacrifices he has made in the name of quality journalism. In my eyes, these awards are also invaluable because they represent international support, international support that allows journalists to pursue the fair, accurate, and contextual search for the truth, a truth that can lead to very dramatic consequences. Since 1992, 735 journalists, journalists have been killed around the world for bringing to light issues that affect their communities, an average of 40 journalists a year. This award not only validates the professionalism and sacrifices of the amazing journalists that we will be announcing today, but also allows them to practice the most professional, rigor, rigorous, objective, and ethical journalism. Journalism that is vital to their communities and to democracy. I can tell you how much it means to me, six years after my father was recognized, to work for the foundation that funds these awards and to be here tonight, tonight to announce the 2009 winners. I am proud to announce that the 2009 International Journalism Award winners are Cao Zhouwing Wu of China and Chu Chu Namagabi Nabintu of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Cao for the respected Southern Weekend was one of the first reporters at the scene of the 2008 Sichuan earthquake. Together, he traveled by helicopter, he hiked along cliffs to reach the devastated area, which was cut off from the world. His moving blog and newspaper coverage conveyed the despair, courage, and resilience of the survivors. In 2007, when a flood in Jinan Shadong province, capital city, killed 34 and injured 171. Sao exposed the cause, flaws in the city's sewer system. In another story, he described how children in, remote, in a remote village could get to school only by sliding along a steel tables above the rushing New River. The public outpouring of support brought, brought in more than $200,000, enough to build two bridges for the village. In an article called System, Sao exposed the working of a violent computer game called Warpath that requires players to spend real money to survive the game's law of the jungle. Sao registered as a user and befriended longtime players as part of the research for, for his insightful project. Chuchu Nomagabe Nabintu uses community radio to report on the sexual violence against women in the lawless eastern section of the Democratic Republic of, of the Congo. At great, at great personal risk, the self-taught radio journalist traveled through refugee camps in remote regions to collect ranging personal accounts from women traumatized by violence. In 12 years of conflict, more than 6 million people have died and hundreds of thousands of women and girls have been raped and tortured. Now, Namagabe continues to face threats, especially after the, her powerful testimony in 2007, urging the International Court of Justice to classify rape as a political weapon in the Congo. Namagabe also found, founded the South Kivu Association of Women Journalists and began equipping other women with microphones and radios to report stories, including ones about corruption in government, mismanagement, and wrongdoings. 
in a culture in which women are shamed into silence. She helped women find their voices and gave them support and a network to grow professionally as journalists. This year's recipients will be honored at ICFJ's annual hour awards dinner in Washington, D.C. on November 12th, along with Seymour Hirsch of The New Yorker, who will receive the Founders Award for Excellence in Journalism. ABC News' George Stephanopoulos will be the master of ceremonies. We are proud of, we are very proud of Night International's achievements, and we are especially proud of this year's Night International Journalism Award winners.